What's going on people, my name's Jack. I produce weekly content based around video editing, videography, or how to make money making videos. Subscribe now if that sounds interesting to you. Today we're jumping into how to learn video editing in 10 minutes, focusing in on a specific program called Movavi. I covered Movavi back in 2017, three years ago damn near, and I called it the easiest video editing software on the internet, and actually not much has changed we're gonna be exploring this from the same perspective, a super easy video editing software that you guys can download. The link to the program is gonna be in the top line of the description. Without further ado, check it out. So first off, I wanna actually load up Movavi on my other screen, and I've been messing around for about 10 minutes before I started this video with building a example composition, something that you and me can now go through, watch what I've created, and then I'll show you how to recreate it and explore all the, uh, you know, all the super easy to use features that Movavi offer in this particular easiest video editing software, AKA learn video editing in 10 minutes. Let's watch this sample and I'll show you how to recreate it. Amazing. Everything watched in that video, other than of course the, the footage being recorded, was all put together using Movavi. And uh, essentially, I'm also, on top of letting you guys download Movavi, if you want, you can also go to the description and download all of the footage that I'm going to be using for this tutorial. Basically, all the clips, the song, the black bars, everything that we put this together with is available in the description so download the pack if you want to follow through from start to finish without further ado i'm actually going to go up here to file in movavi and i'm actually going to click create new project and that's going to load us up a completely blank canvas that we can start building stuff and first off let me familiarize you quickly with the layout basically this is all where your files will be right here this is where the preview of what you're what you're actually editing will appear and down here is where you actually put everything together and of course over here is all your you know your different areas so your import media your actual effects your transitions your titles and, and graphics and of course your stickers and pre-made objects which we'll be getting to as well and then of course all your you know your your crops, your slow motion, some some extra tools basically. So you're fully equipped. They make everything super straightforward, super easy. Without further ado, let's import our main clip, which is this P1155098894, rather, my bad. Drag and drop it to our timeline. Simple as that. It's going to load up the preview on the other screen um, or on the preview window, as we can see right here. And the clip doesn't start off. If we press spacebar, the clip doesn't start exactly where I'd want it. So first off, I want to show you guys how we're going to trim stuff down and introduce you to a shortcut as well. So as we see, the mo the, the motion, the movement of, of the pan around me, right? This is obviously me on the screen. doesn't start till about the six second mark, right? And we want to jump straight into the action. As you, you heard that song, that song gets, it gets straight to business, right? The song's not wasting any time. We got to not waste any time as well. So what we want to do is we want to trim this clip when it actually starts getting interesting when the pan starts. So we could go to the actual point in the clip where the actual cut needs to happen. And we could go up here to the scissor tool right here and click it. Now that would actually chop it into two bits. And then we could actually go ahead and delete the bit that we don't want. Or if we uh, just press control Z to, to undo that, we could go to the point that we want to actually chop it and press control B, which is actually the shortcut to use the scissor tool. And then just literally go ahead and delete it. And we're in the same position, except we've used the shortcut. And now we can press space and we can watch this nice pan. And what we're going to be doing is swapping between the pan shot of me and as we saw the actual clips of what the actual camera itself is actually capturing. And we're going to put together a nice little sequence at the end, title sequence, everything to, to claim that we only did this in 10 minutes. And this might take us a tiny bit longer because I want to actually, you know, explain everything to you. But in theory, you could make what we're about to make in five minutes for all, for all I know. You know what I mean? So it's a very easy editor. Now, here we are. We've got this right here. What I want to do is I now want to import the song because obviously we're going to be timing everything to the song. So let's drag and drop the song monologue. It imports over there. We're going to drag it over. Right, so you can import, you can drag stuff directly into the media bin or just directly into the timeline. And what I'm going to use is my scale down here, right? And I'm just going to I'm going to zoom in, and then I'm going to press Control and and the arrow key, and I'm just going to go over frame by frame until the actual beat drops. Then I'm going to press Control B because we know that's our shortcut to cut stuff down, and I'm going to press Delete, and then I'm going to drag this over. 
And now, if we actually just go ahead and zoom in on the on on, on the you know the the, the waves, the the waveform, we could press spacebar to play and see how we're going to time this up. So as we see right there. So I probably want to go ahead and chop this right there on that first beat and. I should probably throw the headphones on to get this precise, but at the end of the day, as we see right here, there's a beat that happens there. Definitely. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and go to about there, move it over, and press Control B again, and just chop this down a little bit, and um, it, it kind of ripples, right? So, so obviously it's magnetic, which means you can't just drop something on over. We have to we have to throw an actual clip in there, all right? No problem at all. Let's get our first clip. Our first clip is going to be COO34, which is a pretty cool open sign in Chinatown. Essentially, all these clips are from my last editing contest. Me and my homie Noah hit Chinatown in London and, and shot a bunch of cool footage. But let's actually drag and drop that in between these two other clips. Now, we have a bunch to cut out, so, so don't worry. Don't be intimidated by this being very long. But essentially, we want to actually have a clip in the middle. So what I want to do is I just want to press spacebar and just literally play it out um, or actually I'm, I'm thinking I might want to drag it over until we find a nice motion you see I'm going close up to the sign but I know from recording it that yes there's this nice pan motion right here which sort of reflects what Noah's getting of me right the shot Noah's getting of me so we can go to this point which I'm which I'm liking the motion right and I can actually just press again control B because we know that's our our cut we can actually delete that uh, press delete on the side Go over to the beginning, zoom in, and let's actually just go, to go ahead and play this again and see where we can time this up because we now we need to cut the second clip to the beat. We don't want it going on for so long. We're going to get to effects in a second, two secs. Amazing. So just like that, we want it on for a split second. Zoom into this beat right here. We want to chop it on that beat. All right, so go, go to the start of that beat and press again, control, control B, delete the side, and now we are getting to the next clip of us again. And again, we can come over here to this beat. We want everything to be nice and quick, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna introduce some effects now. Let's press Control B, chop that out, and let's introduce some effects. So first off, let's press Control S. This is gonna be safe. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and navigate to our root folder. It's kind of important to keep everything in a similar uh, folder. Uh, tutorial project, I'm gonna call this, right? Press save. And now I wanna show you guys some pretty cool features, all right? So first off, let's, uh, let's actually navigate to the clip that we want to add some stuff to, right? This clip right here. This is a, a middle clip, right? So this is meant to be a little bit cooler, in my opinion, right? So I want to go over here to the actual filters, click filters, and I want to drag and drop this broken lens effect onto our clip. And it's literally as simple as drag and drop. Once we've done that, what we can actually do is go here to the beginning and press play so we can see this from the start and see what that broken lens effect's looking like, see if it makes our project nicer. So without a shred of a doubt, that right there is looking very cool now. It actually looks like an effect, right? And it even goes to the beat a bit, right? However, it looks quite different than our actual, you know, clips of, of me and the rotation of me. So what I want to do is I want to actually go to the light leaks section of the actual effects tab. And I want to drag some light leaks. What this is going to do is give a kind of red red tonality, right? Red tones to the to the image. Now, that would be weird if there wasn't some red color schemes already going on. However, we're in Chinatown. As we see, there's red going on everywhere. So what we could do is we can actually just drag these different, these light leaks to the actual clip of me and actually complement it and kind of tune everything in a little bit together. So let's play this now with the light leaks. And just like that, we are essentially, uh, you know, tying everything a little bit together. So we now need to get the next clip, the clip that obviously goes um, in between. So let's drag and drop this um, into our actual scene. It's going to drag and drop right there. We'll drag and drop that right here. And again, what we need to do is just navigate over until we find a nice bit of the pan. And I'm, remember, for me, I know where the nice parts of these clips are because I got the clips myself. But just follow through bit by bit with me. As we see, that's the kind of the nice pan around the, the kind of traditional building or whatever. And let's, let's come over here again, space bar to play, and we find that next beat and we chop it on the beat. Now, if I'm going quick for you guys, my bad, but it's, it's, it's a relatively simple process. All you have to do is you have to look for the spikes in the audio 
and actually just chop it to the beat. And this editor makes it easy. It brings everything over. There's no moving everything over. And um, essentially what we could do is go back here to the, uh, the, the featured, drag and drop that broken lens effect and go over here to light leaks and actually just go ahead and drag and drop another, um, another, another light leak to this next piece of video. And what we can actually finally do is do that final chop right there. As we know, control B, come back over here, get the actual clip, the next clip, this one, drag and drop it down here. And I want to cover a couple features because obviously we've gone over the features of the light leaks, right? How to color grade stuff a little bit. We've gone over some, uh, some various different effects and I want to tie some stuff in a little bit to, uh, together in a second with a uh, some transitions as well and some titles. So we want to fully explore this program. Now, let's actually just go ahead and play this. And I know there's a, there's a nice bit, again, when we do a pan, I think we have to scroll over a little bit until, yeah, we do this kind of pan to reveal around the traditional uh, English tele telephone box, the red telephone box. Again, select our clip, press control B. Oh, it started raining pretty heavily outside. It's actually not very relevant to you guys. To me, it's pretty relevant. Um, and I'm gonna drag and drop the, the actual um, uh, broken lens effect. And we can actually go ahead and zoom in down here and find the final beat to cut it on. Go ahead and get, get that control B, delete it. And then finally, our clip. Um, and I think actually, I think what I'm gonna go ahead and do is actually just go ahead and control B that that right there. But I wanna drag, I wanna drag this out to here. So to the last two clips, if I remember correctly, were a little bit longer. Yeah, there you go. There you go, that's what I'm talking about. There you go, okay, cool. So now, if we actually come to the beginning, we press space bar, play this thing, this is what we've created. Looking pretty good to me. However, the thing I'm liking the most, the actual, the, the applied effects is light leak four. All right, that's the one I'm liking the most. This one has light leak two. I'm actually gonna delete light leak two. Go over here, get light leaks, get light leak four, drag and drop light leak four. Light leak four is by, by far my favorite one. So we're actually literally just gonna go here. And this is cool because we're exploring the process of removing an effect, right? Obviously, double click the clip if you wanna see it. Click applied effects, delete the effect, go back here drag and drop light leak four, come here again, double click it, go to applied effects, delete, and light leak number four back at it with the victory. Now what I wanna do guys is I want to go ahead and navigate to titles. Titles right here, we're gonna complete the title. Obviously we used this pre-made one last time. I think to follow on with exactly what we did to create exactly what I showed you guys, let's drag and drop it to the end right here and go ahead and give it a play. And just like that, what I want to do is I actually want to go ahead and press control B right there so that we have this effect that it, it loads in and then reloads in just like that. And I actually want to do something cool with the, with the intro. But before we do that, press control Z, undo that and actually just go up to the top, highlight it and type in tutorial complete. Completed. Or you know what? I'm just gonna follow the exact exact thing. Made this in 10 minutes. Boom. With the winky face, come over here, go ahead and press Control B, chop it down so it restarts. And the final thing I wanna mess with guys is some transitions. Let's actually get this ripple smooth transition right here, drag it right there to the end, and we will have successfully completed our edit. Now there's one final touch that I wanna do just to tie everything in and make it look a little bit more cinematic. That's grab our black bars, drag and drop them to the top. Um, obviously we wanna put it on a layer above what we've got here, drag it over to the actual end. And there's one key thing that I wanna do. These black bars are a little bit big. So what I wanna do is actually come here, go to featured um, or actually double click and see if we can't go ahead and just crop in a little bit, right? The crop is 
where was crop again? Two seconds, there we go. So we have to come to our all tools. It's not effect, it's a tool. And let's actually go ahead and actually get the, uh, the crop and adjustments. Go ahead and get the crop and adjustments. Click it, and let's actually go ahead and just draw this, this box out here, probably around there. And anything that the box actually shows is what will appear on our screen. So if we actually go ahead and just apply that, we now have a significantly smaller, oh, actually my bad, control Z, control Z. Control Z, delete that, get that off the screen. Let's reload, reload, and redo it again, my bad. Drag that out right there. Go ahead and crop and adjustments. And actually just go ahead and Crop and adjustments. There we go. Crop and rotate is probably what I want, actually. Crop and rotate is what I want. Drag that in, make the box a little bit smaller, and simply apply it. Just like that, our, our black bars have, have shrunk in. That was me mixing up the, the color adjustment with the crop and rotate. That's crazy. In my mind, I, I read crop and adjustments and crop and rotate. That right there was a little bit of classic dyslexia playing up at the end right there. Comment down below if you guys also have some dyslexia and you'd be... Reading stuff a little bit weird sometimes. That was pretty funny. In retrospect, I look back. It didn't even say what I thought it says. Let's play this from the start and distract from my absolutely dyslexic moment of failure. Let's watch. Boom, come on. Movavi, the easiest video editing software of 2020. That right there wraps it up, guys. I wanna mention that you can get a 20% off code for this particular program. It is, it is a premium editor, but in the description is a link to Movavi. You guys can get seven day free trial of this extremely easy video editing software. And then after the seven days is up, if you guys actually wanna buy this particular software and actually get onto the premium version, this right here that I was using was the premium version. Shout out to Movavi for sponsoring today's video. If you want the premium version, you can click the link down below and use the code DISCOUNT2020 and get yourself 25% off the Movavi premium annual subscription it is pouring outside i can hear the rain getting louder and louder i'm gonna go outside and dance and do a traditional rain dance to increase the views and subscribers on this video 100 <laughs> percent serious thank you guys for watching have a phenomenal day again huge shout out to movavi the link is going to be in the description to their program 25 percent off code seven day free trial big up to movavi thank you guys for watching plenty more movavi videos coming soon have a nice day. See you later.